since now we know that these vessels mediate the entry into tumor, and you need a lot of these vessels if you want a lot of lymphocytes that come into tumor, uh, we try to develop methods to increase the number of these vessels in, into tumor. At this point, this is only in mouse preclinical models, but we made um, a proof of concept study. We have uh, an antibody, an agonistic antibody that, uh, that can increase the number of the tumor CTD HEVs in tumor. And when we do this, uh, we found that we improve the efficacy of cancer immunotherapy with CTD4 and PD1 for more portals of entry, points of entry for the lymphocyte, and then more lymphocytes are coming and the cancer immunotherapy is more efficient. This is only in the mouse preclinical model. Therefore, it, it, it will be necessary to confirm this in, in patients and also to develop tools and methods to really perform this in, in patients. And it will take years, several years, I think, at least five years, I will say, before uh, really a clinical application. But at, already at this point, um, these tumor CTD chilies are very useful as the biomarker that can predict the response of the patient to the combined immunotherapy. As I can distinguish the response to the combined immunotherapy uh, versus the response to PD-1 monotherapy. And this is very important because the clinicians um, that don't know when, when to use uh, the combination rather than only PD-1. The combination is working better, but it is more toxic. Therefore, the clinician want to be sure that the combination will work before giving the treatment. Well, the tumor CTD HVs can already be uh, interesting as a biomarker, and this is in the next two to three years, I would say.